Now, the Caesar Bantu mission in KwaZulu-Natal has pulled out of today's meeting with the CRL Rights Commission. Mission officials have slammed the commission, saying it's already found them guilty before even hearing them out. The church has been accused of human rights abuses. It's also been accused of being a cult. Well, our reporter, Tuba Vilani, has been covering the commission, joins me now. Hi there, Tuba. Just tell us a little bit more uh, about why the mission has actually pulled out of testifying before for the CRL Commission. Yes, uh, Sally, that actually happened last week where the church was invited to come before the commission as we understand that there are allegations that have been le leveled against the church and then the church said following the interview that the chairperson of the commission had with us ENCA then they felt like um, the commission had already prejudged them so they were then unable to continue with their testimony um, uh, well, to the commission, mm. then they decided to, um, and they asked for, um, they requested time to reconsider their options. And then today where we are, uh, uh, Sally, um, we were actually invited by the, the mission, we, uh, at Wasiza Bantu uh, Mission, where the church took us through. We arrived here in the morning, it was around nine in the morning, and we've been walking around. They took us on a tour around the mission to show us um, some of the work that the, com the mission is doing. As we understand that beside um, being uh, the church and the mission, there are also uh, businesses that is being run here. There is Aquele and there is also a farm. But after that, there was a briefing uh, after that when they were giving us their um, uh, the, the details on why they had to walk out from the, 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 the commission and uh, what is their view on the allegations. Let me now bring in uh, Derek, who was briefing us earlier on. Sir, thank you so much for your time. You, during the briefing, one of the, the things that I could pick up was the fact that you were saying this, um, uh, uh, all these allegations, there are people who are behind this. Why do you think there are people? Yes, unfortunately, um, about 18 months ago, there was a split in the family, in the Stegan family, as well as in the church. Subsequent to that, um, it came to our attention that there is an attempt to take over the mission by members of the family who had left, um, some as early as in the early 90s. And... Um, the crux of the matter is that Mr. Friedel Stegen, who was a trustee and director, who resigned in June last year, um, days before his resignation, he gave directorship and trusteeship to his son-in-law, Kurs Grief, by power of an attorney. And subsequent to that, the very heavy attack in the, um, by means of allegations to discredit and incriminate the current leadership of the mission. People have been talking about and asking question why the church delegation had to leave the, the, the commission where uh, they were invited to give their side of the story. Yes. Um, we did perceive that we had been prejudged and that's why we requested the chair to recuse himself and we would have been happy to um, give our version to the rest of the committee. Um, but we have been assured by the CRL that we will be given a impartial hearing and so we have set up an appointment and we will be meeting with them. Thank you so much, sir. That has Derek uh, confirming that indeed they will be going and appearing uh, before the CRL Commission next week, Thursday and Friday. But before that, on Wednesday, I understand that the Commission has been invited to come here at the mission to also um, to be also taken through and see what the kind of work that is being done by the, the, the mission. 
All right, so that's really interesting. So, so what the mission is saying is that there's a sort of an internal family rift um, and that all these allegations of abuse uh, and a cult are actually uh, just designed to make the mission look bad. Um, what have they said, though, about the many people who've come out uh, to say, I was abused and it was sanctioned by the church? That was the first question that we asked, Sally, as to what is the mission says about the allegations and the witnesses that came forward and said, look, I'm the, I'm, I'm, I'm the victim of either uh, rape uh, or uh, being beaten uh, at the mission. And they said they open to any sort of investigation, but they've also um, conducted or conducting their internal investigation uh, into trying and find out um, on what could be true in those allegations. All right. Well, thank you very much. Coming to us live from the Quiet Caesar Bantu mission is our reporter, Tuba Villani.